Everybody praise the Lord. I know you're happy, you'll be happier. God's blessing is coming upon your life. You are not here in vain. Something great from heaven will land on your body right there. Healing, deliverance, miracle. You will catch your own tonight in Jesus' name. Raise up that hand. Let's anoint that hand. Father, we thank you today. Thank you for your people. Happy people, excited people, faithful people, believing people. Lord, I pray that their faith will not be disappointed tonight in Jesus' name. Online, everywhere, I pray you manifest your power so much here at the Alpha location. Mega miracle. Mega healing. Mega salvation. And then online, everywhere, manifest yourself in an indisputable, unprecedented manner in Jesus' name. It is done. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. You can sit down. Tonight, we are looking at the glorious transformation. Before a glorious translation. That is, there's a glorious translation coming. He'll translate us, transport us, transplant us in another place. But before that translation, before that transportation, and before that transplantation, there must be a glorious transformation in our lives. I want you to look at Colossians chapter 1. And I'm reading from verse 12. Colossians chapter 1, verse 12. Giving thanks unto the Father, which has made us, made us, made us to be meet, to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light. Look at verse 13. In verse 13, it says, Who has delivered us by his work at Calvary, by sacrifice at Calvary, by what he did on the cross, he has delivered us. What that means is, deliverance is already available. Why am I here? Why are you here? Is to pick up that deliverance already available because it's done it already. You'll pick your own. Salvation, you'll pick your own. Deliverance, you'll pick your own. Healing, you'll pick your own. If you are there, if you are there, soul, spirit, and body, I said, your salvation is available. Pick it up. You get it in Jesus' name. Look at this. Look at this. And he has translated us. Look at that. He has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. He's translated us out of the kingdom of darkness. The power of darkness is broken in your life already in Jesus' name. Death gone. Life has come. Like it happened to her, your miracle is right there today. Whatever impossible situation, the Lord will make it possible tonight. Salvation, come and pick it up. Forgiveness, come and pick it up. Healing, come and pick yours. Deliverance, come and pick yours because he has done it already. Look at verse 14. In verse 14, in whom we have 
we have, not that we are going to have, we have Calvary has made it available for you and for me. We have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. You feel the guilt, you feel the condemnation, and you need forgiveness. The forgiveness is here tonight. All you need to do is come, pick up your own. Pick up your own. Pick up your own. It will forgive you. It will save you. It will heal you. It will deliver you. It will put a smile on your face. And the people who see you after tonight, they'll say, something happened to you, I know. I see it on your face. I said, I see it in your eyeball. Something happened to you. Where are you? Ah, I can see it's coming your way. The glorious transformation before a glorious translation. Three things we're looking at. We're looking at number one, the transfer of his righteousness by grace. Number two, the transformation and redemption as a gift. Number three, the translation and the rapture to glory. That's where you are going finally. Glory. Where are you going finally? Heaven. Where are you going finally? The palace of God. The paradise of God. Where are you going finally? You will get there. I will get there. By grace. If I get there by grace, you must get there by grace. And that grace is like an ocean. It's so deep. It's so wide. And as I come and take my own portion of grace, and the sea of grace, the ocean of grace, is still as wide and as great and the grace like the river like the ocean that is so wide and is so broad that ocean of grace remains and abides waiting for everyone you will get enough grace for forgiveness for your salvation for your healing, for your deliverance, and for the sufficiency that you need in your life. And today will be your day in Jesus' name. Number one is the transfer of his righteousness. That is the righteousness of Christ into your own account. He was righteous, perfectly righteous, wholeheartedly righteous, impeccably righteous. And if you thought you had righteousness, your righteousness was self-righteousness, soiled righteousness, insufficient righteousness, man-made righteousness, traditional righteousness, religious righteousness. It does not match the expectation of the Lord. That's why the Lord is saying that righteousness you are carrying about. I go to church. I was going to church in a number of years. Many, many years I wasn't born again. I go to church. That's not enough. I paid the pastor's deal. I think I did that a lot of times. The sin does not pay for salvation. It does not pay for the forgiveness of God. I do this. I do this. I do that. What you have done is your own self righteousness, soiled righteousness, insufficient righteousness. It's when you come to Christ and he says, That one is imperfect, that one is insufficient, and then he takes that 
religious, traditional righteousness away from you. And he gives you his own righteousness. Number one, the transfer of his righteousness unto you by grace. It tells us in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, reading from verse 21. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21, for he that he has made him to be seen for us. How? He took your sin, he took my sin, he took the sin of the person by your side there, he took the sin of the other person there, he took the sin of everyone online today, and he placed it on Christ, and he made him to be seen for us, who knew no sin he was perfect but he took your iniquity he took your imperfection he took your transgression he took your sin and laid it on him he took it of you he removed it from you he took my sin away he took my sin away and laid it on christ now i don't have them anymore the moment you believe and then look at what it said that we might be made we're not like that before that we might be made the righteousness of god in him the only way to do that is to take the righteousness of Christ and place it on you and you wear a garment of righteousness which you didn't contribute any amount to to pay for I say it this way he paid the debt he did not owe I owed the debt I could not pay and then Jesus came and took my debt and took my sin and took everything away so that Jesus now has taken away my sin, your sin, and he has transferred to you his righteousness. Look at Isaiah chapter 53. And I'm reading from verse 4. It says, surely, surely, no doubt, this is the basis of our faith. When something has been done, and it's sure, and it's certain, and it's irrevocable, irremovable, he has done it. Surely, he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet... We did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. Look at verse 5. In verse 5, it says, But he was wounded for our transgression. The transgressor is the one that should be wounded. The transgressor is the one that should pay for his transgression. And the wound and the judgment that shall come on the transgressor for his transgression. The man shall bear the consequence of his own transgression. But Christ said, I don't want him to bear that punishment. If he bears that punishment, he will die forever. He'll be separated from God forever. But because of who I am, I can die, rose, rise again, and go to the Father and sit on the right hand side of the Father. He cannot do that. Once that death penalty comes upon him, the soul that sinneth, it shall die. The wages of sin is death. Once that comes upon him forever, is separated from God. But I, Christ, he said, I can bear that and then die for him. On the third day, I rise again. And then after showing myself to all my disciples, 40 days with 
infallible proof. I can go right to the right hand side of God in heaven. He cannot do that because of that. I'll bear it for him. That's why he was wounded for transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, and with his stripes, and with his stripes, were healed. That word healed is a broad word. Great word. Not only healing of the body. Yes, healing of the body. The deliverance of your soul from attack. No attack anymore. No affliction anymore. In that healing is salvation. By stripes, I was healed. I was saved. I was delivered. I was set free. Today, today, your own. You'll pick it up like this, and then your body will say, I am healed. Your soul will say, I am saved. Your mind will say, I am delivered. Pick it up, it is yours tonight. Look at verse 6. In verse 6, it says, All we, like sheep, have gone astray. We have turned everyone his own way. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. That's the transfer. The Lord has laid on him. He took the transgression, everything, without leaving a judge, a beach behind laid it on Christ. And the moment you come and say, I'm sorry for those things. Why am I sorry? I cause pain for Jesus. I cause mighty for Jesus. I cause striking on Jesus. I'm sorry for that. That what sorry means. I'm so sorry. I repent. I turn. And now my sins are laid on Christ. And his righteousness is transferred unto you. Amen. Amen. Tonight, there's going to be a transaction. Transaction. Because the Lord will take the evil, the bad thing you have. He'll take it away, lay it on Jesus. And the good thing he has will be to your account. Saved. Forgiven. Set free. Transaction. Transfer. We're looking at number two here. Number two. We're looking at the transformation and redemption that comes as a gift. Now, if we were to pay for it, what would that mean? To take your heart and your heart at the center of activity and action in your life. If you were to do that and take out that heart and have another heart transplant, the cost will prohibit you and they will not give you assurance to succeed. They say 50 50. If we take your heart that is not working well, that has a hole in there, that has infirmity in there, and that is not receiving the blood in your body and pumping to every part of the body, if we take that away and then we try to put another one, even that other one we're putting, we cannot guarantee its effectiveness in your body, if you were to pay for that, what do you think? If you were to pay for your brain, trillions of cells in the brain connected together. If you were to pay for that and they remove everything and they bring a new brain, if that were possible, the cost is prohibitive. And then everything you have that makes you a man, even even a weak man, an 
omnipotent man, everything you have, if they took everything away and then supply something new so that you become a brand new man, a brand new woman, you'll not be able to pay for that. That's why it's a gift. And God has a gift waiting for you. The gift of a new life. The gift of being a new creature. The gift of being a new person, a new personality. And the gift of a ticket that will take you from earth to heaven. Even that one, can you pay for the ticket that will take you around the world and get to every country, every city in the world? Unimaginable, impossible. But the ticket that will take you from earth when you leave here and go straight to heaven and have a mansion already waiting for you. That's all the amen for the mansion waiting for you. The price of that you cannot pay. That's why God said he cannot pay for that. She cannot pay for that. I will give her, I will give him as a gift. You have it tonight. I said you have it tonight. The transformation and the redemption that comes as a gift. We're looking at uh, the word of God. It tells us in First Peter chapter 2. And I'm reading from verse 1. First Peter chapter 2. Reading from verse 1. Wherefore, laying aside all malice and all guile and all envies and all hypocrisies and all evil speaking. Ah, sir, why do I need to lay aside all that? You went to the doctor, you have an incurable disease. And this disease is about to take your life. And the doctor says, from all the gadgets and instruments and tools and machine we have, and we'll put you to a rigorous test. You do not have more than one month to live. The seeds of eating into your heart, into your lungs, into your brain, everywhere. And but if we're going to extend from one month to six months at least for you to call your relatives and talk to them you have to lay this aside the smoking you have to lay this aside the drinking of kind kind or whatever it is and the drinking of that and the cola nuts for idol worship you have to lay everything aside you say, doctor, is that all? I'm laying that aside immediately now to preserve my life. And God is saying for you to have the new life, the new personality, for you to have this redemption of the Lord and to be made completely new. Lay this aside. Otherwise, there's no guarantee you will get to that place you are excited to get to. It's saying, wherefore, laying aside all malice, all guile, all hypocrisies, all envies, and all evil speakings, I lay them aside. I lay them aside. If you knew what those things will cost you and what those things will take away from you and eventually even take heaven away from you and give you hell hell fire forever and ever immediately tonight you say i don't want them anymore i don't need them anymore I lay them aside. Look at verse 2. In verse 2 it says, As newborn babes, tonight you'll be born again. Yeah. 
as newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word that she may grow thereby something good is coming your way look at verse 9 in verse 9 it says but we are a chosen generation he chooses us the people who are not chosen they were the crowd in society the people who are not chosen they are being oppressed by the devil the people who are not chosen they are still in darkness but God says I love you God loves you and he picking you up and he says I now put you as part of the chosen generation. Darkness will not have any power on the chosen generation. Evil spirit will not have any control on the chosen generation. Premature death will not get to the gauge of the chosen generation. Any attack, any, any kind of affliction of the devil as it's coming, when it gets to your gate, you will read that invisible sign, chosen generation. Amen. Amen. But if the fellow is not chosen, and the angel of death, premature death, moving around like he did that night of redemption. That no sign of the blood here. When I see the blood, I will pass over you. And this fellow, he has money, the sign of the blood is not there. He has popularity, the sign of the blood is not there. He has everything the world can give. But the sign of the blood is not there. This one says, uh, the angel then comes, angel of death, and says, look at this man. He doesn't have the sign of the blood of the lamb. He's taken away. And he goes to eternity on the other side. But you, tonight, who am I talking to? I say, you tonight, the sign of of the blood of the lamb will be upon your heart the moment you turn away from all those things and you believe on the lord jesus christ you'll be part of a whole of a chosen generation a royal priesthood and holy nation a peculiar people look up here the peculiar people and Satan knows he dare not touch you. Jesus, I know. Paul, I know <laughs> that Paul was a bad man before. Now, born again, peculiar. Something has happened. It will happen to you tonight. And then the devil and all the evil spirits will say, Jesus, I know. What's your name? What's your name? And this boy, this girl, this man, this woman, I know. They will not touch you anymore. And then it says that ye shall show forth the praises of him who has called you out of darkness out of darkness say amen. amen you have escaped amen. you have escaped amen. it too is marvelous light and all that is a gift that the lord says christ paid it all he paid for your salvation he paid for your healing. He paid for your deliverance. And now come and receive as a gift. There's, you don't pay anything for this. Somebody asked, how is it all this large crowd? 
there's no time for offering because everything they have come for salvation healing deliverance christ has paid for everything for you and now you come you receive i receive I receive. Heaven says, Amen. Amen. You got it. And it is the translation, transformation, and the redemption you have as a gift. We're coming to number three here now. Number three, we're looking at the translation at the rapture unto glory we're going to glory i am going to glory the shame of the past will not hold you down the guilt of the past will not hold you down the lord is going to take every shame out of your life guilt out of your life condemnation out of your life everything anything you did before and the policeman inside you every time you want to get something good that policeman inside you will say uh-uh you of all people don't you remember don't you remember don't you remember all that remembrance of your past life wiped away tonight and then the Lord will take you home to glory. It's called translation. It's called the rapture. But something happens today before that rapture. Look at this in, um, in uh, Hebrews chapter 11 verse 5. By faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death. And he was not found because God had translated him. But before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased God. Let me explain to you. This happened in chapter 5 of Genesis. Chapter 6 the flood was announced. Chapter 7, the flood came and took them all away except eight people. That flood was worldwide, universal. It was the judgment of God against the corruption of the world. But God looked at Enoch as a peculiar person and thank god your own day your own time has come god will look at you as a peculiar person and he was walking with god first of all we are born again the guilt the condemnation of our sin taken away and we now live following Christ. I've decided to follow Christ. No turning back. No turning back. The world behind me and the cross before me. No turning back. No turning back. Though friends forsake me, yet I will follow. No turning back. No turning back. God is preparing another kingdom. And you will be there. And she will be there. And he will be there. And nothing can come to double cross your way and hold you down. You're going to be there. He's preparing a kingdom. And I will be there. I will be there, no turning back, no turning back. That's what happened to Enoch. He saw the other people doing whatever they wanted to do, and he now followed, and he now walked in righteousness, following 
after the Lord. And the Lord said, the flood is coming, but the flood will not get Enoch. Judgment is coming upon this world. It's called the great tribulation. And there'll be that tribulation here, there, and there. Everybody will be suffering. But the Lord says, he doesn't want you to go through that universal suffering in the world. He says, I'm going to take you out. It will translate you away from this corrupted, corruptible world and it will take you to heaven. On the basis that today you say, God, I am here. I will not look back. I give myself to you. I believe on the Lord Jesus Christ today. And that when, that time when the rapture will happen. I may be somewhere. You may be here. You may be there. The Lord will raise you up. The Lord will change everything that holds you down. The law of gravity will be suspended for you. Yeah. And then you go. I'm talking about you then. You go. You go. And then lo and behold. Who am I seeing? Ah, look at that young man. He was at the crusade and he gave his life to the Lord. And the Lord has taken the sin, the shame, the guilt, the condemnation, everything away. He even has a new heavenly dress that was not made in Abba here, made in heaven. And then you are clothed. And I see a crown on your head. And then I say, remind me, what's your name again? And you say your name and that name is in heaven. Yeah. The same way I am going, in the same way you are going. Yeah. I didn't pay for it. I just said, oh Lord, here I am. I repent. I follow Christ. No turning back. No turning back. I didn't pay anything. The same way it's happening to you right now. Yeah. Heaven, that's your home. The Lord will take you to glory. Are you ready? I said, are you ready? It's bowed and eyes closed. Tonight you have a great gift, a great possibility that you'll forgive your sin, you'll take the shame away, Everything that has been reaching of the bad thing you've done, of the corrupt things you've done, of the evil thing you've done, and it is reaching in the book of records. Everything is going to be wiped away now. And the Lord is going to take your name and put your name in the book of life. You want it? You raise up your hand. You say, Lord. I turn away from all the bad things I've done before. I receive this gift of forgiveness, this gift of salvation, this gift of eternal life. And I want you, Lord, according to your promise, write my name in the book of life. You want to trace up your hand wherever you are. As you are raising up your hand, please stand up so the Lord can identify you. That's the peculiar man right there. That's the peculiar woman right there. And he's going to take all your sin away late on Jesus and take the righteousness of Jesus and lay it on you. Don't wait behind. The rapture could take place anytime. So this is the time to make the exchange, the transfer, and say, Lord, here I am. I've decided to follow Jesus. 
No turning back. No turning back. I'm praying for you now. And that gift of forgiveness, salvation, will be given to you right there. Amen. Father, thank you for your love. Thank you for your compassion. Thank you for your mercy. There is no sin that is so deadly sinful, devilishly sinful. There is no sin that is so deeply sinful that you will not forgive everyone that has indicated they need your forgiveness. Forgive them now in Jesus' name. A good amen. amen. Lord, I pray all the shame, all the guilt, all the condemnation of their passing. Wipe everything away in Jesus' name. Amen. Give them the redemption from Christ. Give them the righteousness of Christ. Cover them in the robe of righteousness coming from Christ so that when you see them, you see them as a Christ-like person. Peculiar. Saved. Forgiven. Changed. Transformed. Transfer right now. The righteousness of Christ to their account. It's done. It is done. And let the Spirit of God bear witness in their hearts with the joy of salvation. They are saved. You are saved. You are forgiven. And the Lord has taken you out of the kingdom of darkness. And now you are in the kingdom of of his dear son. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It is done. In Jesus' name we pray. Keep on standing. God bless you there. The joy of salvation is now in your heart. We call on our moderating overseer tonight to help us as we take the names. And then after that, I'll come back. And tonight, you have a testimony of miracle. Amen. Amen. What a wonderful transfer. What a great trans transaction. The Lord has taken away your sins. The Lord has given you salvation. Feel free now and be happy for what the Lord has done. And then relate with the counselors who are there with you. Give your correct name. Give your address. And your phone number, 11 digit. The essence is to enable us, assist you, help you, return this great gift of salvation the Lord has given to you. We did it many years ago. And by the grace of God, God preserved our life, and God sustained us with his grace, and God is willing to do the same for you. So, cancel us, please. Go near them. If they have not come to you, beckon on them. And give your name, your address, and your telephone numbers. If you have more than one, telephone numbers. Give all the numbers so that we will be of great help to you. And if you are watching online and you gave your life to Christ after the pastor's message just this night, there is a link. gckhq.org slash connect. Below your player, click it and fill the form so that we can assist you further in your new walk with Christ. Also, if you are listening via radio or television and you have just given your life to Christ, please send your name, phone number, 
and location address via SMS or WhatsApp to this number plus two three four nine one five four 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 nine two six three. I'll go through it again. Plus two three four nine one five four 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 nine two six three for those who have given their life to christ tonight and those who gave their life to christ yesterday friday and on thursday there will be a lunch hour with jesus Tomorrow at 3 p.m. at the tent behind this classroom. You'll be there to have fellowship with the Lord and the, all those who have given their life to Christ. Please don't miss it tomorrow, 3 p.m. at the tent behind this classroom. Also, there will be a special believer's banquet for all those who gave their life to Christ during this crusade on Sunday, 6th October, in all our churches globally. We'll give you more details about this, those online. And because our pastor will be delighted to have you join this special banquet. But for the Alpha location, the Believer's Banquet will also be on Sunday, 6th October, at 3 p.m. The venue will be number 63, will be a street, Ahoda. That's the Deeper Life Bible Church, Rivers West State Headquarters Church. So be there, and the Lord will bless you. Cancel us, please, if you are true. You let us know. If they have not attended to you, beckon on them and said, I've given my life to Christ. I'll receive the transfer. The Lord has taken away my sins. I don't want to remain a sinner. I'm born again now. Please come and take my particulars, my names, phone numbers, then address of how we can get you. If you have a nickname, what people call you, please give to us. If there's any landmark that will define your house very well, behind the school, behind the shop, behind here, let us know. Near the mask, just what will help us locate you easily, give it to the counselors. If your house is near the bus stop or near the market or near the, the tap, the public tap, you let us know. And then if there's any name they call you, Mama this, Papa this, oh boy, or whatever name they call you, please state it there because it's going to help us, to help you as well. Cancel us, please. Let's be up and doing. Like I said, if you are watching online, and you just gave your life to Christ, after the pastor's message, there is a link, gckhq.org slash connect, below your player, click it, and fill the form, so that we can assist you further in your new work with Christ. And if you are listening via radio, or television, and you have just given your life to Christ, send your name, your phone number, your location address via SMS or WhatsApp to this number, plus 234 Again, plus two three four nine one 
five four 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 nine two six three. Remember the lunch hour with Jesus tomorrow, 3 p.m. at the tent behind the classroom here. And then the believers banquet on Sunday, 6th October. For Alpha location, it will be here at the Deeper Life State Headquarters Church. I hold that here, that Rivers East State Headquarters Church. While online, it will also be on that Sunday. Cancel us, please. If you are true, indicate. We have a lot of people to my left, toward the road, and uh, near the classroom. Please, let's make sure that we attend to all of them. Cancel us. If we are true, please signify. If you are true, let's know. If you are true, please help and assist others. And if they have not come to you, please inform them that we are still waiting to be attended to. Counselors, can I get a signal from you? To my left, if you are true, can I see the signal? Toward the back, In front here, okay, I've seen your hand, thank you. At the middle, cancel us, can you signify? To my right, cancel us, we are waiting for you. While we're waiting for the cancel us, I think it's better we start preparing our hearts. Like I told you, today is the third night of the GCK, and God has prepared triple miracles for you today. Some have received the first one, which is salvation. Other miracles will come. And tonight, God will grant your petition. I thought I would hear somebody say, Amen. You will not live here the same. Hannah went to Shiloh, and God listened to her and granted her petition. Tonight, it is your turn. God will listen to you. God will grant your petition. Can we rise up? If you want God to grant your petition, this is time to go to God and tell the Lord your need. Tell the Lord your challenge. Tell the Lord your hard desire. Make your petition known to God. Let God hear your voice. Counselors, tidy up. As we are waiting for the man of God to pray and shower the blessings of God upon us. He promised he's coming back to pray for us. And I believe God tonight, the Lord will not pass you by. Let God hear your voice. Tell God what you want as the man of God comes to pray. Thank you, Pastor. Praise the Lord. Amen. Expectation Amen. will turn to realization. Amen. Miracle. Amen. Healing. Amen. Deliverance. Amen. The Lord is going to give you right now. Yeah. That sickness will be healed. Yeah. That attack will be canceled. Yeah. That affliction 
will come off your life. Tonight, the Lord will put a testimony in your mouth. Where is she? Where is she there? God bless you, you are there. You get it. Lay your hand on yourself and raise up the other hand. When you hear the final amen, your miracle has landed there. Father, in Jesus' name, you are a merciful God. You are a faithful God. What you said, you will do. You will do in every line tonight, in Jesus' name. Here at the Alpha location, and there online, everywhere, Lord, open the way for your miracle to descend upon them right now in Jesus' name. Sickness, whatever the name, I command that sickness, come out in Jesus' name. Weakness in your body, whatever is the root cause of that weakness, you are cancelled in Jesus' name. Disease, you are healed. You are healed. Demon activity, affliction, attack, mental challenge, from evil spirit, I cast you out in Jesus' name. All the sickness, all the disease, all the deformity, everything that has followed you until this time, they are chased away from you. Be healed. You are healed. Be delivered. You are delivered. Be set free. You are set free in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray there will be manifestation, demonstration, and performance of miracle, healing, deliverance everywhere right now in Jesus' name. To my right, to my left, to my front, at the back, online, over the television, over the radio, everywhere you hear the sound of the voice now. Let that miracle take place immediately. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It is done in Jesus' name. Check up yourself. You'll find the miracle right there.